Hello Medicos, today we are going to see about anti-rheumatic drugs. Rheumatoid arthritis, sorry. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease with joint inflammation, synovial proliferation and articular cartilage damage. Anti-rheumatic drugs are classified into disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs and adjuvant drugs. See, there is autoimmune disease and joint inflammation. So here we need anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressing drugs. Glucocorticoids can do both. It is a potent anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressant. Disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs has immunosuppressants like methotrexate and azathioprine, other immunomodulators like sulfazalazine, hydroxychloroquine, leflunomide and tofacitinib. The main cytokines produced during rheumatoid arthritis are interleukin 1 and TNF alpha. So we have TNF alpha inhibitors like etanacep, infliximab and adalimumab. In anakindra, it is a interleukin 1 receptor antagonist. And we will see about abatacept and rituximab further. See, disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs are also known as slow acting anti rheumatic drugs. You can remember this immunomodulator drugs with LTSH. Lecture, lecture theater, so hot. Remember it by, with this mnemonic lecture theater, so hot. So you can remember leflunomide, tofacitinib, sulfazalazine, and hydroxychloroquine. Let's come to methotrexate. Methotrexate is an inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase. This is an enzyme which converts dihydrofolate into tetrahydrofolate. Tetrahydrofolate is an essential coenzyme in one carbon transfer reactions in de novo synthesis of purines. So there is decreased purine synthesis leading to decreased DNA replication and decreased cell proliferation. It is also a inhibitor of thi thymidylate synthase. It will also inhibit adenosine deaminase. Adenosine deaminase converts adenosine into adenosine. Okay. Methotrexate is the first choice disease modifying anti rheumatic drug. See, if you want to provide symptomatic relief, then NSAIDs are the first line drugs in symptomatic relief. Methotrexate. Onset of symptom relief is quick, it takes around 3 to 6 weeks, so it is preferred in initial treatment. Oral bioavailability is variable and it is affected by food. Its excretion is decreased in renal disease. See, in drug interactions along with probenicid and aspirin, its levels are increased. Why? Because in the basolateral membrane of renal tubular cell, there is a transport protein. It is a organic anion transport protein which transfers methotrexate. Uh, it is responsible for the excretion of methotrexate. Now, aspirin and probenicid will inhibit this OAT. So, it leads to the increased level of methotrexate. If you see, there is another one drug, trimethoprim. It depresses bone marrow and it also inhibits dihydrofolate reductase. In low dose, the adverse effects are oral ulceration and GI abscess. In prolonged therapy, you have liver cirrhosis. It is contraindicated in pregnancy, lactation and leukopenia. Its toxicity is reversed by folinic acid also known as citrovarum factor or leucovarin. Let's come to azathioprine. It is converted to 6 mercaptopurine. It is a purine synthesis inhibitor. Along with steroids, it has a steroid sparing effect. So that's why it is used. Let's come to sulfazalazine. Sulfazalazine has, uh, it is a compound of sulfapyridine and 5-amino salicylic acid. This 5-amino salicylic acid has anti-inflammatory effect in bowel. So it is used in ulcerative colitis. 
Sulfur pyridine is splitted in colon by bacterial action and it is absorbed from there. So it is useful in rheumatoid arthritis. Its effects, its beneficial effect is due to the uh, suppression of the superoxide radicals and cytokine elaboration. See, if we come up, if we talk about efficacy of sulfasalazine, it has a moderate efficacy in rheumatoid arthritis. Its adverse effects are thrombocytopenia or neutropenia, sulfur allergy, and it is contraindicated in G6PD deficiency because of chances of hemolysis. Let's come to hydroxychloroquine. See, there is a remission of up to 50% patients with rheumatoid arthritis. So, uh, it cannot be used regularly. It has low toxicity and low efficacy. There is no prevention of bony erosion. So, it is used in mild non erosive cases. Mechanism of action is through decrease in lysosomal enzymes and free radical scavenging. If it is given for long periods, it, it will accumulate in tissues, mainly the melanin containing tissues. See, it can cause concentric deposits, concentric ring deposits in retina. It is known as bullseye retinopathy. In lens, it can cause subcapsular cataract and in cornea, it will cause vortex keratopathy. Other adverse effects are neuropathy, myopathy, rashes, graying of hair, irritable bowel syndrome. It is seen, it has been seen that in few months of therapy, there is improvement in skin pigmentation in vitiligo, but it is not primarily used for this purpose. Uh, it is not primarily used for improvement in skin pigmentation in vitiligo patients. It has an effect. That's it. We are not using this drug as a primary drug in vitiligo. Let's come to leflunomide. Leflunomide will inhibit the proliferation of T lymphocytes and it will decrease the autoantibodies auto production by the B cells. It produces an active metabolite which is an inhibitor of dihydroorotate dehydrogenous. Because of inhibition of this enzyme, there is decreased orotic acid which will further lead to decreased production of primidins. So it will lead to decreased DNA replication. This active metabolite has a long TR of around 2 to 3 weeks. Its efficacy is comparable to methotrexate and it has fast onset. So it is used as an alternative to methotrexate. It is contraindicated in pregnancy, lactation and in children. It should not be given in combination with methotrexate because both can cause hepatotoxicity. So there will be additional hepatotoxicity. Let's come to tofacitinib. See, tofacitinib is used only when there is severe rheumatoid arthritis which is not responding to methotrexate. It can be used with methotrexate unlike leflunomide which cannot be used with methotrexate. But this drug cannot be used with other immunosuppressants like azathioprine, other immuno, uh, disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs and cyclosporine. Tofacitinib is an inhibitor of JAK1 and JAK3 kinase, Janus kinases inhibitor. So it interferes with the DNA replication. Production of inflammatory mediators and release of cytokines is inhibited. This is the action of tofacitinib. Let's come to biological agents. Biological agents is usually a recombinant protein or a monoclonal antibody. You see, they are normally these biological agents are not used. They are used only in refractory cases because they have very prominent side adverse effects and they are expensive. In biological agents, we have TNF alpha inhibitors. See, TNF alpha acts on TNF receptor 1 and receptor 2, which, is, which are present on macrophages and T cells. TNF alpha inhibitors are effective alone, but still they are used along with methotrexate. If we come to first drug which is etanercept, it is a recombinant fusion protein. See the recombinant fusion protein is you are 
joining two genes there is fusion of two genes and the resultant protein which is produced is known as recombinant fusion proteins so it is a recombinant fusion protein of tnf receptor and fc region of human igg1 antibody it will bind to tnf alpha and prevent it from activating macrophages and t cells it is given in subcutaneous form subcutaneous route so the local reactions are the only side adverse effects like pain redness itching and swelling at the region of inject injection site let's come to infliximab infliximab is a chimeral monoclonal antibody it means chimeral monoclonal antibody means uh, the antibody part uh, domains like the variable region and there is a sta uh, stable region in which uh, one region is kept constant and another region is uh, like uh, it is produced from another species if you see this is a antibody this is variable region and it is constant region if it is kept the same and i am changing this constant region of i am replacing it with another species another species uh, constant region is replaced in this normal uh, along with this variable region then it is chimeral monoclonal antibody it is given in iv route the adverse effects are fever chills urticaria bronchospasm and anaphylaxis with methotrexate it will improve its response it is given along with methotrexate because antibodies can be formed against this infliximab by our body so to prevent it we are given methotrexate along with it and other adverse effects are increased respiratory infections let's come to adalimumab it is a recombinant human monoclonal anti tnf antibody it is given through subcutaneous route the adverse effects are injection site reaction and respiratory infections with methotrexate it is used to prevent antibody formation against adalimumab the other tnf alpha inhibitors are cetrolizumab and golimumab let's come to anakindra it is interleukin 1 receptor antagonist it is given through subcutaneous route local reaction and respiratory infections are its adverse effect other interleukin 1 receptor antagonists are rilonazep and kanakinumab let's come to abatacept see abatacept is a co stimulatory inhibitor first let's see how it acts see this is a antigen presenting cell this is activated t cell it will have mhc complex and t cell receptor this is the first signal and there is a co stimulatory signal through interaction of cd28 and cd80 or 86 which is a b7 molecule now on activated t cells there is ctla4 which is cytotoxic T lymphocyte associated protein. Oh, okay. This CTLA has more affinity for B7 molecule than CD20. So, because of more affinity, the CTLA will bind to B7 molecule and it will. it has a inhibitory signal so it will inhibit the t cell proliferation it has inhibitory signal okay so abatacept is prepared through the combination of ctla4 and ig the uh, immunoglobin is igg the fc region of igg and the ctla4 receptor are uh, combined to form abatacept it is a recombinant fusion protein it will bind to b7 molecule and it will inhibit co stimulatory signal it is used along with 
it can be used along with methotrexate but it cannot be used along with other TNF alpha inhibitors due to the increased risk of infection. It is used when the methotrexate and TNF alpha combinations are not uh, useful in refractory cases then we can use this. It is given in subcutaneous root or IV. Let's come to rituximab. Rituximab is a chimeral monoclonal antibody. It is produced against CD20 antigen present on the B cell and plasma cell. It is indicated in B cell lymphoma. It can be used along with methotrexate in rheumatoid arthritis not responding to methotrexate and TNF alpha combination. See, the adverse effects are it is given through slow IV. It has adverse effects like fever, rash, and urticaria. This can be prevented by pretreatment with corticosteroids. The mechanism of action is opto apoptosis of B cells by transmembrane signaling, and there are other two mechanisms. It is antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity and complement dependent cytotoxicity. See, <coughs> this is a B cell. It has CD20 antigen onto which rituximab uh, given which will bind to it and there is a complement C3B which acts as opsonin it will coat this immune complex so there is opsonization here this C3B complement is identified it is recognized by the complement receptors present on the phagocytic cells like macrophage then there will be uh, this will be leading to the phagocytosis of this B cell. So, this is known as complement dependent cytotoxicity. Let us come to antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity. See, the antibodies are produced. The rituximab binds to the CD20. Now, this uh, rituximab has FC region. This FC region is recognized by the FC receptors present on the natural killer cells. Now, this natural killer cells will kill this B cells. So, this is known as antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity. Now, at last we will come to glucocorticoids. They have more potent immunosuppressant and anti-inflammatory action. They can be given at any stage of rheumatoid arthritis with first line and second line drugs. It is given through intra-articular injection. Thank you.